in this video i will introduce you to the scaffold in jetpack compose and i will show you what it is and how to use it so a scaffold is just one of the material design components and if you don't know what that is, it's just a set of uh, components which is introduced by Google Material Design, which are some designing concepts from Google. So this is scaffold is just a composable function that will help you to lay out your screens and also add other material components in the same screen, just using this scaffold. So for example, if you want to have a toolbar or a top app bar, if you want to have a bottom navigation, if you want to have a snack bar. So when you have one of these, you can use scaffold to lay out that screen. Let's just take a look at our example to explain that further. So as you can see in this screen, we have a top app bar and yeah, we have a navigation bar here and we also have a floating action button. And yeah, when we click on that, we just want to take the text from this uh, text field and show it in the snack bar. So as you know, the top app bar should be placed at the top. The navigation bar, this one, we want to place it at the bottom. This one here, the floating action button should be above the uh, navigation bar and has some uh, padding from the end and the bottom. So you don't need to handle this on your own. This could all be handled using this scaffold layout composable. So without further ado, let's see how to use this scaffold in action. Okay, so now we just want to try to implement the same screen we had. We have a top out bar, we have a bottom navigation, we have a floating action button. So whenever you have one of these components, just go ahead and use a scaffold to lay out that. Uh, let's see how we can do that. Simply here, you just need to call the scaffold composable function. Let's just suppress this error and I will tell you later why we get this. Just uh, yeah, click here, click on option and enter in Mac. Uh, I, I believe that should be Alt and Enter in a Windows or Control or Enter, try both. And yeah, so here you need just to suppress this and this annotation to get rid of that error. And I will show you why do we get it and how to just, yeah, how to remove it and fix it. But now if you open the braces for this uh, scaffold, you will get so many options here. First of all, the modifier. So we just want to take the maximum screen size. Let's pass that. And, and here, as you can see, you have a top bar, which is a composable Lambda call. So we can say top bar and open curly brackets. Now here we can pass any design we want to show at the top bar. So we can just say, for example, box modifier.fillmax width with a height of 200 dB. And let's give that a background of uh, maybe red. Color dot red. We just want to preview it. Now let's launch the app. So as you can see, this is the top bar. Uh, it's kind of big, but as you can see, it handled it and it placed it at the top. Uh, now let's just remove this. And actually we can use uh, the tool or the top app bar composable, which is just a component that used to create top app bars. Uh, you can actually create your custom one, but I'd rather to just use this one since it handles things for you. Just add this uh, experimental annotation and now we want to just design a simple top app bar that has a title. So let's just add a text here and maybe we can call this land of coding. And yeah, this is your top app bar. Now we want to add a bottom bar. So we open this and again here you can pass any design you want, any composable function, but we, we also have a component for the bottom navigation bar, which is called navigation bar. So this is just a component that is already prepared for usage. Now here, we want to create two items. So there's already a navigation bar item. Uh, for the first item, let's just pass true. Only click, leave that empty. We don't need to implement anything for now. Icon here, let's just pass icon. And let's say image vector icons dot default. We want to pass the home icon for the content description. We pass null and let's just copy and paste this one here. And this time we don't want it to be selected and we want to pass favorites. So let's launch the app to see what we have created. Okay. So as you can see, this is the top bar and this is the navigation bar. And the scaffold handled the position of these bars. So it put the navigation bar at the bottom and the toolbar or the top app bar at the top. Now, just we want to add uh, a shadow for this uh, top app bar just to make it more visible. Just call shadow. 
and let's pass 10 dB for the elevation. Now you can also add a snack bar to this scaffold because you want to make sure that uh, the snack bar actually always shows uh, above this navigation bar and if you have a floating action button you also want to show it above the floating action button and yeah the scaffold can handle that for you just need to provide a snack bar host here so we can say snack bar host which is a composable function and yeah now we want to get uh, not this one but snack bar host and here we want to just pass a host state object let's create that and we can name this snack bar host remember and yeah we can create an object with that class a snack bar or without the capital like that uh, state this one okay now let's just test that here now we want to add the floating action button so simply you also have a lambda call for that called floating action button um let's just use extended floating action button on a click uh, let's leave that empty and text here we just wanna yeah we want to say show snack bar now let's implement this on a click so to be able to show snack bar, we want a curtain scope. So let's get that here. Val scope equals to remember curtain scope. So let's scroll down and here let's call scope dot launch. And now we can just say, yeah, snack bar host dot show snack bar. For the message, we're going to take from the text field. We don't have this text field yet. So let's just pass an empty string. Now let's launch the app to see what we have achieved. Okay, as you can see, so the scaffold layouted everything in its place. And now if we click on show snack bar, the, uh, the snack bar uh, shows on top of the floating action button. And you can change the position of this floating action button. So you can just here type uh, floating action button position. You can say uh, fab position and here you have, yeah, you have center or end. So if you want to put it in the center, it will show in here. Let's see that. So as you can see, but let's just delete this and keep it at the end. Now inside this scaffold, you can just put your screen content. So this area here, this area that goes between the top app bar and the navigation bar. So let's just say box. Modifier, we want to fill the max size. And we want to add some simple text and say yeah hello let's run the app and now uh, we don't get the text so where is it we don't see it well the reason is because the box this one here goes behind the top app bar and the uh, the navigation bar here so the text now is under this top app bar so how do we fix this uh, we need to add the padding from the top and padding from the bottom and the padding size should be from the top it should be by the height of this top up bar from the bottom it should be uh, the same as the bottom navigation uh, bar height so now let's just delete this here and this is why we get it it says that you don't use the padding of these components the top up bar and the navigation bar so delete this we're gonna get it again here so Let's just apply these paddings. We can say padding from the top. Now, as you can see, you get here something called padding values, and this will just provide you the yeah the padding that you should apply from the top and the bottom. So we can say it dot calculate top padding and bottom it dot calculate bottom padding, and now you will get rid of the error. Now let's just put our text field here. For the value, we want to create a state for that in here. Text by remember. Mutable state of, and that is an empty string by default or initially. We pass that value here, which is the text, and we change it in here. So text equals to it. Now let's just say content alignment. We put that into the center 
and and in the scaffold we just want to show the text let's let's run the app and as you can see here's the screen now yeah so if we just type something here show snack bar as you can see we showed it here and yeah so this is why do you need to use a scaffold just to lay out just to lay out your material design components in your screen okay everyone thank you so much for watching this video if you're not subscribed to my channel go ahead and click the subscribe button right now and i'll be grateful so i hope you have a great day and catch you in the next video